Hello YouTube, this is uh, all the elevator spikes on uh, I just want to announce some uh, changes that will be going on onto my channel in the recent and the far future. Uh, there are a couple of points that I want to bring up here. Uh, the first one is the content, the amount of elevator content that I will be uploading to this channel in the foreseeable future. And that will going to decrease from being five videos per week to only being one, maybe two videos per week. The reason is because I am actually running out of content. So I uploaded most of the videos that I have in my archive. So I need to go out there and find new elevator videos. And until then, I don't have anything else to show you. On the other hand though, each video will contain more amount of elevators that exist within one on the same complex. I have a couple of lift tours coming up that I will show you each week. So look forward to that. And in the further on in the future, you might notice that I will start uploading other kind of contents to my channel. Uh, some of the contents might be more about uh, the city itself, Stockholm. There are some train videos that I'm working on. And then there might be something entirely new content that I will be experimenting with and introducing to this channel. So please look forward to these and uh, stay subscribed, like, comment and uh, also remember to look in my older contents as well. I've created a few playlists in uh, my channel known as the best of. If you look into these you can see the be best of the best elevator finds that I have found and filmed of uh, various categories in my channel. So take a look of these as well. And then we see it's no other next time.
What do you think of the trailer? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, these are some of all the lift tour videos that I will be uploading in the coming months. And the Project Tanabana will be launched sometime in 2022 if everything goes according to my plans. Anyways, I asked for you guys to ask some questions to me in a Q&A. And I have received some questions here. Some are written in Swedish and others are written in English. However, I will only answer in English so as many as possible can understand what you are asking about and what my answer is. So the first question is from Bus Ride in 97. Ett, ett tillverkets nummer viktigt för dig när filmen hissar? One, is the serial number important for you when a film elevators? Well, more or less, it's a way for me to keep track on elevators where they are, that is more important, and that is why I look at the inspection certificate in the first place. The inspection number is more just so we can make sure if there is a, any build pattern on elevators like for the elevators. All the elevators made by Diva are built in chronological order and therefore it's quite easy to determine the build year based on the serial numbers. And then this just because, uh, well, some people like to keep track on serial numbers. Question 
Question number two is from Volnian. 1. Var fick du intresse för att filma hissar? 1. Where did you get your interest to film elevators? Um, I actually have uh, uh, an interest for elevators ever since I was a little kid. Uh, and I started to film elevators around 2010 when uh, I got inspired to film these things to other YouTubers to have done so before me. Like Diesel Ducey and Alvarez from Sweden. Uh, question number two. Varför gillar du inte nödstopp? Why don't you like the American stop? Well, there was a while there that I was actually scared of elevators. And when I overcame my fear back in 2010, uh, there was still some part of me that I didn't like about when it comes to elevators. And I don't like to get stuck inside them because I just get claustrophobic fear. And therefore I don't press an American stop button because there would be a risk that the elevator would fail by then. I actually have one video where that actually happened to me. So look forward to that video and hope I manage to escape afterwards. Number three, vilket är ditt märke? What is your favorite elevator brand? My favorite elevator brand is Dive. It's quite obvious. And it's because of their unique Tiki ID fixtures as well as the special sound that the hydraulics make. And overall, they're very special construction overall. That's why they make quite popularity in the elevator community. They're also very reliable, so they're also a popular brand among elevator technicians as well. And number four. Gillar de nya eller äldre hissar? Do you like the newer or older elevators? I generally like older elevators actually. There's something that I like when it comes to analog stuff like relays and mechanics before the computerized era. But I also like the trist sounds that many elevators from 80s and 90s does. So all the elevators are quite interesting compared to modern ones that are boring or sometimes just cheap and unreliable. Next questions are from Elevators of Steel City by Otis Elevator Fan 102. And the question number one is, have you been to America? If not, have you ever considered traveling to America? No, I have not been in America. I have considered traveling to America. I was actually very close to travel to America back in 2015 together with Elevators for Sweden and Heritage Elevator. Uh, those two did manage to get over there and meet up with Diesel Ducey and film the elevators in the Elmwood and Market parking garages. But uh, I actually skipped over it in the last second due to personal and economical reasons. The second question is, what are considered generics in Sweden? Generally, generics are like elevators that have been assembled using third-party parts that anyone can order and put together. And in Sweden, well, it's basically something that you aren't making in-house that are basically in generic. So, like Kuna, Otis, Deva, Sir Graham, Graham Brothers, they all made a little bit of their own, they are not generics. And then you have the smaller local brands so such as ALT, Sankt Eriks Hiss, Amsler Hiss, uh, BPA, Bravila, and the list can go on. There are many small firms around this Sweden that assembles generic elevators like that. And then we have the last question is by Harrison Aparin. Did you ever see any good Gen 2 in your time of an elevator cameraman? Yeah, I've seen quite a few that works quite well. So there are a couple of OT Gen 2 elevators in my channel. Actually, the most recent one is from Felt After Mall that I uploaded the other day. So take a look on that one. That one is really epic. And that folks, that pretty much all the questions I received this time around. Make sure to keep your eyes out 
for the next Q&A rounds. I might post something like that in the community tab in the near future. Have fun and look forward for the new contents that I will deliver on this channel. Have a nice day.